Hey guys, it's your girl Joshka of Joshka Beauty, a luxury natural hair and skincare brand that celebrates 4C natural hair and self care. And today, I want to talk about all the black women, the natural hair black women, who are talking about returning back to relaxers. Seriously? Now y'all know where I stand with natural hair. I am a big advocate. Ever since I gone, I went natural back in 2014 and stayed natural, I'm all about staying natural. Because I feel like I don't have to change for nobody. My hair is beautiful, it's gorgeous. And if I want it to grow long and beautiful, I'm gonna have to take care of it and not a hair weave or blow dry it and straighten it out. And I just learned to appreciate myself and who I am and what I have to offer this world, myself. That includes my natural hair. It's just the way it is. So I'm a big advocate for black women just being themselves and loving themselves and embracing their natural hair texture. But you have women out here who have been natural, who've done the big chop, who maybe transitioned, who've stuck it out, done the braids, the, the twists, the protective styles, they've done it all. And now they're just tired of their hair and they want to go back to relaxer. You know, they feel like they like their straight hair better than their curly hair. Or the straight hair is easier to manage. Or they're just tired of their natural hair. They don't like it anymore. They don't like the way it looks. They don't like taking care of it. They don't like it. And so that to me just, it says a lot. It says, it says that we have a lot of work to do <laughs> because you're saying to yourself every time you straighten your hair and definitely put chemical relaxers in your hair, something that's toxic to your skin, your scalp and your body that can cause cancer and that can burn your scalp. It can actually burn a hole through your scalp, but it can put chemical scalp burns on your scalp. This toxic chemical that you want to use to put on your hair just to make it straight, all the things you have to go through just to make it straight, that is saying to yourself that your hair is not good enough. That you are not good enough. Your hair is just naturally curly and it's beautiful just like that. If you want it straight, I would say, hey, just get a flat iron, blow dry it out, get a press and curl every other week or every week however often you need to do it I, I if, if you have you must have your hair straight I mean I'm not an advocate for straightening hair but I'm saying just stay in my opinion I think you should stay away from those chemicals because they can cause cancer they can cause cancer okay nobody wants cancer you don't want to deal with that think about it Think about it. They can cause cancer. That's how harmful those chemicals are. They can kill you. They can literally kill you. So, <laughs> so I say stay away from the chemicals altogether. And if you must straighten your hair, find some other alternative ways. Just stay away from it. But there are women who want that straight hair and they don't want to have to deal with you know, the poofing up or the reverting back to the curls um, once, once, they hit, once it hits some water. But every time a black woman puts a hair relaxer on their hair or even a hair weave or a wig, they're saying to themselves that they're not good enough. Okay? That's basically what you're saying. Your hair is not good enough. You're not good enough. You've got to do whatever it takes to look more European and just, you know, keep your hair straight and long and that's better than wearing your natural hair. I was I was there right along with you guys wearing my hair weaves and my wigs and straightening my hair um, not knowing that that was chipping away at my self-esteem and who I am as a black woman. I obviously didn't appreciate what I had and I didn't care for my natural hair and that's unfortunately how a lot of black women are feeling about themselves. They don't care about their natural hair. They don't really care for it. They don't want to deal with it and it's whatever for their natural hair, whatever for themselves. 
And a lot of black women might not see it that way, but you're really telling yourself that you're not good enough. And we talk about, you know, walking in our truth and being a, a, the best version of ourselves and having these positive affirmations and dealing with our mental health. Like that's trending now. That's the thing now, which is good. You know, we all need to focus on those things to be a better person and to better ourselves every day. But my biggest thing is how are you going to tell yourself that you're beautiful, that you're gorgeous, that you're all this and all that, and that you're, you know, your best self when you're not being your best self, when you're hiding yourself, when you're changing yourself all the time and, and, and putting relaxers in your hair. You're not walking in your truth. You're not being honest with yourself. You're not having a positive relationship with yourself. You have to walk confidently in who you are, know who you are. Okay, you are a black woman born with curly, kinky curly hair, and that's who you are. It's okay to be that way. It's okay to have curly hair, and it's okay to get tired of your hair. I mean, I get tired of my hair sometimes. I just want to cut it all off. Sometimes I don't want to deal with it. I just put a hair wrap on or a hat. But I would never, never, ever put another relaxer in my hair. I don't care how rough it gets, how tough it gets. If I have to watch videos on YouTube to get some kind of encouragement, to encourage me, you know, seeing these girls out here with their long hair or seeing other natural hair women. If I have to go to a natural hair stylist or a natural hair professional just to get it done so I don't have to worry about it and worry about doing it and twisting it and braiding it up, I'm going to do what I have to do because I want to invest in myself and my health and my well-being. That's how much I love myself. That's how much I care about myself. I'm not going to go and put chemical relaxers in my hair and damage my scalp and my hair and my health. So just think about what you're doing to yourself when you put these chemicals in your hair, first of all. And then think about what it's doing to your self-esteem and your self-worth as a black woman. It's not making you feel like you're the best person in the world. You may feel glamorous. You may feel good about your straight hair. But you're really saying to yourself that you're not good enough. And honey, you're all that in a bag of chips. Black women are made to be bold. Okay, we have bold hair, bold lips, bold hips, bold personalities. So go out there and be bold. Wear your natural hair. Love yourself. Forget that relaxer. Okay, crack is whack. The creamy crack is whack. Nobody wants that. Okay. <laughs> But um, all I can say is, love yourself, hang in there, okay, do what you got to do to invest in yourself and your health and your well-being, and don't give up, don't give up on yourself. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.